Welcome back to the morning wrap with the holidays coming just right approaching us. Uh, many people may feel a little stressed trying to stay healthy. Enter biohacking. So joining me right now to share the latest on this wellness trend is certified nutrition coach and podcast host Aggie. Wow, I've been saying your name all day. Aggie Lal, and That's I just it. messed it up the second I see you in the prompter. <laughs> um, either way, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. for It's lovely meeting you and lovely having you here. Thank you for having me. And everyone's curious, what exactly is biohacking? It is essentially an alternative to mainstream fitness advice that doesn't work. It essentially doesn't work, right? Mm -hmm. We're all struggling to have more energy and lose weight. So biohacking was like, okay, how can we use science to make losing weight super easy and that comes down to make it super personal so mm -hmm. you can check your dna you can check your blood and pick a like diet essentially that's right for you that will make you feel amazing and light and awesome and this is something you can do on your own or do you have to go visit someone to put this all together for you no essentially this is like taking the power into your own hands and realizing that it's a lot of self experimentation and just seeing what works for you what doesn't but i went from somebody who you know i was losing my hair in patches i had bald patches acne everywhere and and I don't want to say look at me now but I feel great and I just wish more women feel so good in their bodies. I feel like you can say look at me now you know like <laughs> you right. went, you look at, because it's real right you went through something and you figured out a way to transform whatever it was that you were going through um, and now you, what you have a book out you've got a yeah. podcast biohacking yeah. bestie that's where right. you break all of this down so yeah. um, tell me a little bit about both of them. Well so the book is about actually how to biohack like a woman because biohacking again is very male dominated and we women don't thrive through challenge we thrive through nourishment so it's essentially understanding how to have fun how to have your favorite dish whatever that is for you what's your favorite dish oh my gosh well today Cheesecake it's been factor. sour patch kids because it's halloween yeah. week and everyone's <laughs> handing over sour patch kids so i've had uh, pretty much a couple bags yeah so <laughs> Biohacking is basically saying, okay, I want to have that in my life. I don't mm -hmm. want to give it up. Mm -hmm. what, what's the best way for me to have it without giving it up? So it would be, okay, if I have some fiber, some vegetables beforehand, I'm not going to get a glucose spike. So I'm not going to have the side effects of sugar that ages us and puts us on a craving roller coaster. It's like, okay, if I have a little salad before my sour patch, I'll actually won't feel the side effect of it. So it's just kind of like, you know. I never thought about having a salad before my sour patch, but because you said it and we're talking about this, I'm definitely going to try it now. Anything that has fiber, anything that has like a little bit of protein instead of having sugar on an empty stomach would really make a whole difference. Oh, okay, I'm so excited. Um, how do you do this though with the holidays here? We have candy in every single corner of the studio. We know people gear up for Thanksgiving and obviously Christmas too. Yeah. Even easier, what do you think? have a shot of apple cider vinegar. So it's proven by science that a shot of apple cider vinegar before eating anything super sweet will prevent you from having a glucose spike. And essentially glucose spike is the very thing that we're trying to avoid because mm -hmm. it, again, ages you, it makes you crave more things. So just a shot of apple cider, a shot, apple cider vinegar, then go for a quick walk after mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. And again, that would really help your digestion. So it's amazing that science is basically bring us back to, you know, what my grandma would perhaps say, you know, move your booty, you know, <laughs> after you eat so Get much. Get up and do something. Yeah. What about all the other hefty foods that we have out there? I know we touched on sugar, but I mean, I feel like certain Thanksgiving spreads, there's lots of oil, heavy carbs. Yeah. Well, again, if you eat food in the right order, it's not going to be that bad for you. Mm -hmm. For us women, we do need Fat, actually, you need to have fat to lose fat. And mm -hmm. we were being taught, oh, be afraid of fat. But actually start my day with butter in my coffee. <gasps> it's just eliminating all the bad fats like seed oils, like canola oil, soybean oil. But I literally start my day with a, a spoonful of butter. That I had coffee. no idea. Yeah. Oh, that's a great tip. Okay, yeah. well, tell everybody where they can get the book uh, and where they can find your podcast. So this is Biohacker. You can get it through my Instagram at Aggie or my podcast by Hack Investing. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for it having me. It was so me. interesting to learn all of this stuff. Yeah, and now I can't wait for my salad so I can dive into the rest of my Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> Yay! Well, thank you again. We're going to put all this up on our website at kcounties.com slash the morning wrap. And thank you so much for watching us. Amy Johnson's here with all you need to know for KCOW News at noon.